John Paul McGowan is here for John Paul. Yes, my name is John Paul McGowan, and I am your great value Santa Claus. <laughs> I am the one that brings the gifts from Wish.com. Right legibly. Uh, I am married. Been married for 21 years. I, I have been given a cease and desist order from finishing that joke, so I'll move on. I have one child, and I stress one child because that's all we wanted. That's all I wanted. Because I grew up with the oldest of seven kids, and I hate people. <laughs> Uh, one, one kid is enough because you know I was I was subject, subjected to that curse growing up, and some of you may remember, some of you may be on the receiving end of it. May your child be just like you, but worse. <laughs> I'm fucked. <laughs> Not that I was a bad kid. Now I wasn't a bad kid. I was the smart kid. I was the one who got his ass whooped all the time because I would remind the teacher that she hadn't collected homework yet. Or that she had told us we were having a quiz that day and I was ready for it. <laughs> so I learned to be funny real quick. You know, the, the bullies don't chase you quite as far as if they're laughing. Uh, so, like I said, my kid, my kid, she loves people. So, that, you know, we're, we're, we've got our differences. Um, and, and she's good around me. I mean, following her around school one day is like following around Norm from Cheers. She's a mean little drunk. <laughs> um, but, you know, having a kid that's smart and clever is a curse because, well, as we just found out, kids make teachers drink. <laughs> and if you have, you know, parent-teacher conferences were always sketchy and always iffy because you never knew what to expect. You knew there was that one kid in your teacher's class, in the teacher's class, that was the troublemaker. They were the ones that always caused mischief and got other kids in trouble. And if you weren't worried about who that kid was, odds are they were yours. <laughs> so thankfully, I, I never had that. No, what I had was, like I said, like me, but worse. She was the smart kid, but she had the confidence to tell the other kids that they weren't as smart as she was. She was the junior teacher, so we had to have the, the teacher had to remind her that she was still a student and hadn't quite yet passed the, uh, the Texas State exam yet. Um, though I've seen some of the teachers and I'm pretty sure she could. Sorry, this is all new material, so y'all get my food. This is pretty well trying it all out. Uh, oh. My kid, like me, though, we're both, well, I'll just say nerds. You know, we like games, video games, D&D, comic books. You know, so, you know, we have social issues, obviously. Um, when I was growing up, I, I wasn't really into cars. I mean, I, I appreciated them, I liked them, they were beautiful to look at, but just like women, I didn't know how the fuck they worked. <laughs> Still don't. If you see me under a car, call 911, please. <laughs> and it's not like I grew up with a really great car, it was a piece of shit, but it was paid off. I mean, my folks made me earn it, and you know, that's okay, that's, that's fine. Yeah, I really, like I said, knew nothing about it. My car went from zero to 60 in theory. <laughs> Still not sure about that. Um, and for the longest time in high school, college, you know, I wasn't very active. Didn't date a whole lot. I thought, well, hey, it's because of the car. You know, it's a piece of crap car. And I wonder. Then I got a nice car and found out it wasn't a car. I'm an asshole. And that's my name, Jump Paul McGowan. Thank you.